This podcast has been brought to you by Seekers Guidance, the global Islamic seminary. Help us spread the light of prophetic guidance to millions around the world by becoming a monthly supporter. Make a small donation at seekersguidance.org forward slash donate. For as little as $10 a month, you can help people find life-changing guidance. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah Next question is... Um, does the intent or motive of being rewarded for an action negate or compromise the sincerity of my intent? I'm troubled by self-interest and ritualization over sincerity. Um, so does seeking reward affect the intention? Um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is arhamur rahimin. He is unimaginably merciful. Right? He is more merciful than any imaginable reality of mercy that you can imagine. Right? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not reward us according to what we deserve. Because with, if you consider what is due to Allah, then we don't deserve anything. You owe your existence to Allah. You owe every breath to Allah. You're absolutely indebted to Allah. Even if you gave everything to Allah, you would fall short. So Allah does not demand from you perfection. Not in your actions and not your, in your intentions. Right? And He knows that we are weak. Right? Allah has created us weak. He has created us short-sighted. He has created us hasty. That's how we are and he'll accept us in that reality. He does not make us responsible for more than we're able. So when it comes to intention, we see from the Quran and the Sunnah that there are three levels of intent. All of them are considered sincere. If we begin from the top, pure sincerity is that you act only and ta'amala lillahi ta'ala duna mulahawati ma'anan akhar al batta is that you act purely for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without any consideration of any other meaning whatsoever. As one of the poets said, Walaula hawakum fil hasha ma taharakna. Were it not for yearning for you, Deep within us, we would not have even moved. Right? That is high sincerity. Right? That's the Abrahamic way. Inna salati wa nusuki wa mahiyaya wa mamati lillahi rabbil alameen. Say, my prayer and my devotion. My living and my dying are all absolutely for the sake of Allah, Lord of the worlds. And that is absolute sincerity. That's high sincerity. And that sincerity has subtle degrees of purity, of intensity, and of perfection. And that's what we should aspire towards. However, lower than that, but still a high degree of sincerity because you are seeking from Allah is to act seeking reward for it. Whether it be, you, you know, you want the palace in paradise or this or that. Why? Because it's from Allah. It's His garden. Right? And that, and sincerity, that too is sincerity. It falls short of the pure standard of sincerity, but if you are asking from Allah, it is sincerity. Now, lower than that is if you ask from Allah for purely personal gain, even worldly. You really need to go to the washroom, and there's a lineup. So you say, Oh Allah. 
I need to go to the washroom. Now, there, you aren't thinking about, about Allah. You aren't thinking about some reward in paradise. You're just thinking about getting to the toilet. That too is sincere. Why? Because you asked Allah. And He loves to be asked. So, don't complicate sincerity. If you are asking from Allah, it's good. And don't complicate. Sometimes the shaitan compl tries to make a... Try don't, don't try to do philosophy with the shaitan. Because he's a great philosopher. And he'll out-philosophize you. Smarter people than you have stumbled. Right? If you have a motive to do something, ask Allah and do it. And if you are confused about your intent, do the best you can and ask Allah for increase in sincerity. Ask Allah for more. Right? To improve. So don't say, I'll only make dua when I have that right focus. No. Raise your hands and ask Allah. The Prophet ﷺ, Allah loves to be asked and hates not to be asked. Even if the, the strap of your sandal breaks, ask Allah for it. Of course, then you take the means to fix it. But everything, ask Allah, even if it be mundane. Then if you can make the intention higher, right, out of and two of the meanings that help us raise our intention is to feel your neediness to Allah. al iftiqar ila Allah, that's one thing. Feel your neediness to Allah in whatever you're asking. And the other is out of gratitude to Allah. Right? Related to neediness to Allah is to do it out of a sense of slavehood to Allah. out of a recognition of His being your Lord. Right? And these are of the four of the things that they say are facilitative to increase in the degrees of sincerity. Neediness, gratitude, slavehood to Allah, that I'm your servant. Right? And you're my Lord. Right? And what kind of Lord is He? He's merciful. Right? He's Arhamur Rahimin, the most merciful, the absolutely more, most merciful. So merciful that he is unimaginably beyond the highest, greatest, widest imaginable mercy. You could translate Arhamur Rahimin as unimaginably merciful. Absolutely and unimaginably merciful. And he loves to be asked. Anytime you ask, it's beloved to him. So you keep asking. Now, to the extent that you can raise your asking, that's better. Right? But don't leave the good for not doing anything just because you don't feel you're ready for what's higher. Right? Um, so ask. Right? Let's say you really want to buy that new car. They say, you know what? It's not about... I don't, I'm not buying the new car because, of, because I'm going to do good with it. I'm not buying the new car purely for Allah. I want the new car. Ask Allah for it. Now, if you can ask Allah for it, right? Ask Allah for it anyways. If you can think that um, you're asking Him for it because you, your neediness and gratitude, slavehood, lordship, these are four meanings that are easy to remember. That'll help you raise your intention. But if you're, if, you, if you're going to seek it, ask it anyways. Make a habit of dua. You're going to buy the ice cream. So why would I ask Allah for ice cream of all things, especially after a big breakfast, big lunch, and big dinner? Now, ice cream, I ask Allah for that too. Are you going to go for it? Yeah, then ask Allah for it. Say, oh Allah, I ask you for this ice cream. And maybe in asking for it, you may say, oh Allah, actually I ask you for good health. And save me from my temptations. And you walk away, maybe it may save you from foolish decisions. But it's better to be a fool for Allah than to be a purely worldly fool. 
right? So you ask Allah for it and His beloved to Him. Thank Him for it, right? La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah Thank you for listening. This podcast was brought to you by Seekers Guidance, the global Islamic seminary. Visit seekersguidance.org to access reliable Islamic knowledge taught by qualified teachers. We offer a wide range of courses, podcasts, articles, and a world-class answer service. Support us in spreading free, reliable Islamic knowledge to millions around the world by becoming a monthly supporter. Visit seekersguidance.org forward slash donate and make a small monthly commitment today. Our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Whoever guides someone to goodness will have a similar reward. So don't forget to share this podcast and spread prophetic guidance.